Hello and welcome to This Day Devo. My name is Pastor Guy Smith. It's good to have you today. If you are reading along in the reading plan, today's passage is Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 30, as we begin into a section on the Sermon on the Mount. The question I want to ask you as we step into this is, what does the kingdom of God look like? What does it look like in you? What does it look like in how you live? How is the kingdom of God reflected in your life? So Jesus' Sermon on the Mount is so famous and powerful that it would be impossible for me to overstate the impact and the importance and the influence of the Sermon on the Mount, not just in the life of the Christian, not just in the life of the church, but really across the world. You know, uh, I a few years ago, I was I was selling. Now I, I've been involved in beekeeping for on and off over the last ten plus years now, and I I was selling bees. Just stay with me. I was actually selling honeybees to a local customer, and he was in my garage, and we began to talk. He didn't know I was a pastor, but we began to talk about religion, and he was he was not a Christian, but he was a quote unquote spiritualist. And as we were having this conversation. One of the things he recommended to me was that when someone comes and talks to him about spirituality, he always encourages him, hey, if you just read the Sermon on the Mount, you will do well. Like if you're trying to figure out how to live a good life, you're trying to figure out how to succeed in life, he said, just read the Sermon on the Mount and, and you'll do well. And I, I heard him say this and I was floored, um, but I, I was, hey man, you should do that. I, I Go for that. Please do that because it's in the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus very much claims that he is divinity, that he is God. And so uh, it's you can read the Sermon on the Mount and say, I'm just going to pull out these pieces, but you can't take the Sermon on the Mount in its entirety uh, without fully believing that Jesus is the Son of God. In fact, it was St. Augustine. back in the early, I think it was the 300s he lived, that he described the Sermon on the Mount as the perfect standard for the Christian life. So if you you want to study what it looks like to to be a Christian, what it looks like to live the life of a Christian, you're going to find a a lot of that right here in the Sermon on the Mount. And so the Sermon on the Mount is, it's, it's life in the kingdom. It's what does my life look like if I am truly following Jesus? And I want to point out a couple things. Did you see where it started? It started in what we call the Beatitudes. And the Beatitudes uh, could sometimes be referred to as the beautiful attitudes. And so the Beatitudes begin with us just like how you would begin your walk with Jesus, where you come to repentance. It begins... uh, by a realization of my desperate need for Christ. And then throughout the sermon, we see this kind of build. And so this is coming in where Jesus' popularity is on the rise, and he takes these people up on the hillside outside outside of town, and he just begins to teach for several days. He's teaching what the invisible kingdom really looks like. Because, you know, just like you see in here, you know, I say this, you, you've you heard this, but I say this. Jesus is kind of raising the bar on what it means to follow God. He's raising the bar. But when he raises the bar, it's not to make us feel small. It's not to make us feel unable. But it's to say, listen, the standard is righteous. The standard is holy. The standard is perfect. The standard is me. You can't be me. You can't do. So I don't want you to be discouraged this morning and say, wow, I can never do the Sermon on the Mount perfectly all of the time. That's right, you can't. None of us can. None of us can. It is the perfect standard for the Christian life and the perfect standard of character. That's going to be found in Jesus. And so what do we do? We repent of our sins. We lay our life at the foot of the cross. We give it all to Jesus and entrust him to mold us day in and day out into the men and women of faith that he calls us to be. And so that's the kind of Christian that I want to be. I want to experience his present kingdom and allow it to roll in my life on this very day. And so we humble ourselves before the Father and allow, invite 
his kingdom to rule in our life. And so when our heart is right, we will begin to live right and make right decisions as we more understand and more have God in us directing us along the way. And so today, uh, I ask you that question. Can you fill in these blanks? Can you fill in the blanks? Today I learned this about Jesus, and on this day I will this. And my prayer challenge for you today is to pray this with me. Lord, make my heart pure, right, and holy so that my life reflects your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. If you want to go farther, dig deeper in the Sermon on the Mount, we're only going to spend a little bit of time in this Devo series on this. So this is an exhaustive, I mean, there's so many topics in this. If you want to go farther, go deeper. Uh, actually, back in 2020, I preached a uh, 18 or 19 sermon series set on the Sermon on the Mount right through it. All of Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, uh, we got pretty detailed as we went through it. And the name of the series is Kingdom Life. And I will link that uh, in the show notes for this as well. So uh, with that, I hope you have a blessed day. See you later. Every word sent down from heaven as the